Outside. Outside, the count one and oh. I'll tell you something, he was a big trick. See, over the last 40 games, what he did at Memphis, that's when he got off. He got off to a bad start, and then he turned it around and hit 338 in his last 40 ball game. One ball and one strike. He's talking to Mike Ferraro prior to the game, and he said he's just raw, Don. And he says, that's it. He said, you're going to just see a raw, young talent. He said, but it's fun to sit there and watch him and try and figure out what you're going to see in maybe a year, two years, or even three years. That's it, foul. He was pointing out some of the places where he had hit balls in batting practice. And I will tell you, it is awesome. And we will try and show you. There's a sign, a Winston sign, over in right center field, over the 410 marker. He hit one on top of that. He's hit him at the base of the scoreboard in straightaway center field. There's that Winston sign. Now that is a whole bunch of inches from home plate. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, that's going to be 450 feet. Easy. There. Well, he's 6'1", 222 pounds, only 23 years old. the scoreboard straight away center field he hit it at the base of that scoreboard and then in the bullpen out in left field there are some lights so that naturally in a night game that the visiting clubs can see down there there's one a long drive way back this ball is foul well, I'm still third base umpire John Hurstback is happy that that ball was well fouled. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was not a dozen feet foul, but it was not that close to call. Well, you listen to this. <laughs> and he's got a standing ovation for a foul ball. Well, you know, Don, you got some great sports fans here in Kansas City, whether they follow the Royals or follow the Kansas City Chiefs. Here it is. Boy, he did. He had a great swing at that one. And you can see right there, he likes that pitch down a little bit. That ball yeah, was just foul. Yeah, I tell you, though, that uh, Hirschbeck would not like to have had a call there that uh, <laughs> could have gone either way. And been embroiled in a big argument over Bo Jackson's potential first major league home run. Well, all he's got is a count two and two, and the veteran left-hander Steve Carlton just stands there and waits for him. That's fouled right side. But now we'll show you another place in the White Sox bullpen down in left field. There are some lights that are out there, and the top lights up on the left, you got to go higher on the wall. There they are, the top two on the left. He hit them over in those lights. Mm. <laughs> that is something. Well, he's just a strong young man. That's all, and like Mike says, he's just as nice as could be. There's Bouncer right side. They got to hurry. We'll check the speed. There's the run. They don't get it. Jackson going hard down the line, and he wasn't even close. There's his first major league hit. He will remember that. And why not off of a 321-game winner, Steve Carlton. They got the baseball for him. He showed me something getting down to first base. A right-hand hitter, but he really gets out of the batter's box in a hurry. And he's accelerating right away. The ball gets by Mormon, fielded by second baseman Hewlett. And look. Jackson is uh, two strides past the bag by the time the throw gets over to Carlton Covery. He really gets down that line in a hurry. Now here's Salazar as now he will... Oh.